Hi, I'm Jeff Sangstack, the author of this Infinite Skills course on color correction with Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade. Perhaps a more descriptive title would have been Color Correction and Color Enhancement and Color Grading with Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade, but we'll stick with this shorter one here and know that we're going to cover all of those topics in this course. We will be working with both Premiere Pro on the left and SpeedGrade there on the right. Premiere Pro, as you know, is a video editing product, but it has a full suite of color correction and color enhancement tools. It has many effects and scopes and other tools that allow you to do a full range of color correction and color enhancement within this one product. But you can also take a project that you've worked on inside Premiere Pro and open it up inside SpeedGrade and enhance the work you did inside Premiere Pro. Or you could take a project that you've created inside Premiere Pro and open it directly inside SpeedGrade and do all of your color correction work inside SpeedGrade. SpeedGrade does work differently than Premiere Pro and it's a whole different approach to color correction when you work with SpeedGrade. So I'm going to show you both approaches in this course. So the question then is who should take this course? If you want to go beyond basic editing and make your videos look great, then I think this course will be worth your time. I'm going to help you correct tonality, that is fix brightness and contrast. We're going to also work on color problems, such as color cast. You might have a video that's too orange or too blue. We'll help you fix that. And then once you've made these repairs, once you've corrected the video, we'll go beyond that to enhance the look and feel of your video projects. Give it a film look, for example. I do expect you to have some experience working with Premiere Pro or some other nonlinear editor like Final Cut Pro, for example. Not a lot necessarily, but enough to know how to open up a project and how to navigate through a timeline and go find effects and things like that. I'm going to assume that you have not worked with SpeedGrade. If you have, then that's icing on the cake. But my assumption is that you've worked with a video editor and not with a standalone color grading, color correction tool like SpeedGrade. So I will walk you through all of the various steps to work with SpeedGrade. So with all this in mind, let's get started correcting, enhancing, and grading color with Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade. 